Welcome back. It is time for an experiment that kids can do with mom and dad. Chemical Kim is here to talk burning metal. And we should emphasize again and again and again that this is something you want to do with mom and dad, That's right? for sure, without a doubt. And you want to make sure that a lot of safety precautions made. You want to have, you know, surface that um, is covered. I use aluminum foil. And what we are, we, we are burning out, and then I also use water as sort of my, you know, to extinguish any sure. possible flame. And we've got our glasses on. Yes, but this is a great science lesson, without a doubt. It's a science lesson on something called oxidation. Okay. And a lot of times people don't think that you can actually burn metal. And this is a piece of steel, which is primarily iron, mm -hmm. okay? And a lot of times when you have a steel bar, it's all clumped together, and there's yes. not enough surface area in the, um, in the surface of the metal for it to burn and react with the oxygen. Yeah, okay. okay. So what I'm going to have you do, just to show you the science of how we do this, yes. is just break apart that steel wool to give a lot of surface area yes. of the metal to the oxygen, okay? Yes. And then I'm going to put it onto my tongs, Catherine, okay. and you're going to take the lighter. And yes. well, actually, here, I'll let you hold this and really? I'll take the lighter. Yep. Okay. And I do have, of course, it not held in my hand, you know, at a distance. Yes. And when you ignite it with the flame, of course, it will burn and you can feed the flame. Yeah. If you have a parent doing that with adding more oxygen, more air. Yes. And then we'll extinguish it into the water. Got it. Now, to show this oxidation process, we're going to create oxygen um, even more so than we have in our atmosphere to really, really show this experiment. And so we're going to dim the lights down. And what we're going to do is create oxygen using two compounds. This is sodium okay. hypochlorite, okay? Yeah. And then, or hypochlorite, and this is hydrogen peroxide. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to work together here. So okay. we use four hands. All together, right. And this is so neat. So, so interesting science. <laughs> so fun. Okay. You're going to um, take the sodium hypochlorite, add it into the beaker. Yes. Right this very second. Yep, right yes. now. The whole thing. And okay. that's about equal parts of both chemicals. Yes. And then hydrogen peroxide into the into beaker. There. And you see Ooh, the gas yeah. is created. That gas is oxygen. Now watch what happens <gasps> when I put that It's like a into. sparkler. Exactly. And complete oxidation. And you know what we're making? Iron oxide, which is actually iron 3 oxide, which is rust, Fe203. So it's really unique science. So fun. Um, wow. A lot of times, too, you know, looking at electricity and putting electrons into the metal, getting a heat generated, we can actually ignite it and also do oxidation. So this little experiment involves two leads, a battery, whether it be a 9 volt or a 6 volt. Okay. okay? And what we're going to do is hook this to the positive volt, and then I have the lead on the negative volt. Yes. And then again, fluff out a little piece of of uh, steel wool again, yes. wanting that surface area. Yes. And watch this. This is really unique science, and kids can learn a lot, especially about the flow of electrons, because electrons flow like water through the metal. Okay. And I have it into a beaker so that it'll collect, but just oh, just the batteries doing the battery. that. Isn't that beautiful? Is that not beautiful? Yeah. Very very neat. And again, you know, safety. The reason I put it into water is because there's such small little sparks of flame that you're not quite sure if it's done, if it's extinguished. Mm. So again, never ever touching it with your hands, using you know a pair of tongs, and then we'll just extinguish it into there. Safety okay. first. Safety first. And that is really really unique science. It works also with a nine volt battery. And we can maybe dim the lights down for this one. Yep. Because this will be you got fun. Time for that last. This last one. Light up. Okay. So, okay, so I'm going to let steel wool. Steel wool. I'm going to let you actually, Catherine, do the do the battery. Okay? okay. Do the fanning. All right. Okay. Let me get the lead onto the, oh, the battery. Yeah. Get me and hooked up. And we can up. show the electrons flowing and the energy that flows. Go ahead. Oh, I started it without your permission. <laughs> Look really, at that. Really I love it. Really fun science. Again, making iron three oxide, which is rust. Fast Very cool. Fast for rust. Awesome. All right. Well, you can find more fun science experiments from Chemical Kim on our website, wzzm13.com, on the Take 5 homepage. Kim, thank you so thank much. Thank you.